It's hard for people to find happiness. You know, how do you get out of that valley? If you go to work just to make money, no matter how much money you make, you'll never be happy. Okay. What do you do with the money? If it's just to accumulate millions and millions of dollars, it'll never be enough. But if it's to help people, to help your family, to do good deeds, then that becomes holy work. <laughs> I have a little miracle that happened in my life that led to a place I never would have expected. It's a very mystical valley and obviously also a very dangerous valley. I have an honor to be talking to a good friend who is respected all around the world as a seeker of wisdom. His name is Salvador Litvak, but he's known more as the accidental Talmudist. A person has seen this. Where do they start? They have to start at the beginning, and the beginning is defining terms. I would see all those shelves of Talmud, and I would think, I'd like to read that. I'm just going to get book one and see what it's like. I took it to the counter to pay for it, and the kid at the register said, oh, you're doing Daf Yomi. And I said, what's Daf Yomi? And he looked at me like this. And I thought, oh man, it's true. I'm not allowed to read the Talmud. <laughs> I must look like an idiot. Worse than an idiot. Among Jews, an ignoramus is much worse than an idiot. Okay. So the kid says, no, no, Daf Yomi is this worldwide program where everyone is reading the entire Talmud. They read one page a day around the world on the same schedule. It takes seven and a half years to read the whole Talmud. And today is day one. So that's why I started. I said, God, I get it. Who are you and who am I to decide who's close to God? I'm not pushing my trip on anybody. I'm just sharing my joy. Winner. We live in a time when there's infinite information at our fingertips, and yet wisdom often seems so out of reach. Self-awareness is not an app that you can download. There's work, there's energy, there's processing, there's practice involved. The Talmud is not a book. It's a fountain of wisdom that goes back 3,000 years, but it's springing forth now, always in the present. It's a conversation that I'm jumping into. Yeah, you see, people think this is a wall, but it's not, it's a window. And through this wall, you see, you see a miracle of a people that has every reason not to be, and still is. This wisdom has survived for millennia because it applies to all humanity. And now is the time for our generation to join the conversation. Whoa.